life is supposed to be more fun for you than most of you are having. Life is supposed to have more moments of that manic elation that Esther felt yesterday. And she shouldn't need to be in Ketchikan to feel that way. She should be able to go to the grocery store and find some of it. And she often does. She should be able to take a walk around the neighborhood and meet up with the little furry critters and all the fun kids and fun people. In other words, you have co-creative collaborative partners all over this planet that some are ready for you and some are not. And so this is what we're leading up to. We want you. We're going to settle down here because we don't want to yell. We want you, we want you to know the difference in the readiness of them. Don't try to play with those that aren't ready for you. It upsets them and it upsets you. But get ready to play. Don't use the fact that you keep bumping up against those who aren't ready to play with you as your excuse to not get ready to play with them. What you want is out there. You just have to be more ready to see it, more ready to know it, more in the receptive mode. So that's the general statement. How does that play out specifically? If we were standing in your physical shoes every day, without exception, we would sit by ourselves in a quiet place and we would quiet our mind. Why? Because if you will allow yourself just a few minutes of distraction, from the chaos that's going on around you. And don't misunderstand us. We love the chaos that's going on around you. Out of chaos comes everything. Out of diversity comes everything. But you can't receive it when you're focused upon too much of it at once. You have to bring the specifics into focus. Creation is about focus. And focus is about thought. An accurate focus is about deliberately reaching for thoughts that have a certain frequency, which means you have to care about how you feel. So you have to feel your way into your thoughts. Do I want to be too busy or do I want to be bored? Really? Those are your only choices? Sometimes it seems that you feel that way and it's because you trend accidentally. You trend with sloppy observation instead of with deliberate intention. Are you following us? So how would somebody trend more deliberately? By getting up in the morning, doing the first thing that is important to you, which is coming into concert with your inner being, and then make a list of five things that matter most to you. Just make that list. Five things that matter most to you. Nobody else gets to decide what they are and they won't be the same thing to you in every single day. And if they are the same thing to you in every day, then your list is too general and not being specific enough. But what you will begin to show to yourself with just that simple new approach to your day, do most important thing first, tune in to broader perspective, who knows everything about you, who knows everything you want, and then you tune yourself to what your inner being already knows. And if you're too general in that, if what you focus upon isn't up to speed with what your inner being knows you're ready to receive, you'll feel bored. And if it's too specific, you'll feel overwhelmed or tension. Are you following us? This is what calibration is. Calibration is, let us ask you some questions. Do you have an inner being? Has your inner being been around for a while? Does your inner being know where you've been and what you want? Is your inner being focused upon that? Is the law of attraction responding to your inner being's focus on behalf of you? So your inner being is the summoner of a whole lot of stuff that you are either ready for or not ready for. You following? So how are you going to get ready? Work harder, try harder, jump through more hoops for other people. How are you going to get ready? How would you get ready for what your inner being knows you want? You got to calibrate to it. You got to feel your way to it. Sometimes people say to us, Abraham, I was just bipping along and then out of the blue, this happened. 
and we say was not out of the blue it was out of the oblivious it didn't come out of the blue it's been trending it's been trending which means when it got there in what you're calling out of the blue and you don't like it you've been trending in the direction of things you don't want and away from things that you do want which means you've been putting up with a whole lot of negative emotion unnecessarily because you hold the keys to that if when it comes out of the blue you love it if when it comes out of the blue it thrills you it's not coming out of the blue but when it shows up when it suddenly bursts into your scene do you know the phrase that we offer so often about thoughts turning to things thoughts turning to things thoughts turning to things well there is a manifestational point for everything and the thought that occurs to you is one of those manifestational points but there are more and more and more and more and the more vivid those manifestational points become then the more reality it is so can you feel that what we are wanting to draw you into deciding is that you're going to be a vibrational understander you're going to be a laws of the universe understander you're going to be an emotional guidance system understander you're going to get the basics down and then you're going to apply these basics that you understand by thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling and thinking and feeling that's how you deliberately trend if you're just running around the world and then responding to what your kids say and responding to what your mate says and responding to what your neighbor says and responding to what the government says and responding to what the television says if you're just responding you're not deliberately trending and the world is not going to be good for you any more than a boyfriend that is demanding stuff from you is because you are the one who advocates for you now your inner being is advocating for you but your inner being is not thinking for you your inner being is taking the thoughts that you have thought about what you want and is amplifying them and shoring up this law of attraction and gathering the cooperative components but you know the cooperative components have been gathered for so many things that you have not yet let into your life experience why is that you ask for it it lined up the law of attraction gathered it and your inner being held the focus why is it not manifested in your life experience yet because you don't pay attention to your trending you're all over the place the other day Esther was with a bunch of teenagers and they were really talking smack about rich people and Esther was in the other room it was her granddaughter and her friends from college and Esther called out that's gonna bite you in the butt <laughs> they're all looking at each other did your grandmother just say something <laughs> yeah she doesn't like us to talk like that why not because when you practice thoughts that are not in vibrational sync with the laws of the universe your life is going to unfold in a way that you don't like and then you're going to blame that one and that one and that one and that one and you're going to have no control of your own life experience didn't you come to this forum isn't the reason that you're here isn't the reason that you want to play with us in this way aren't you here to become deliberate don't you want to have control of your own life experience but before you can have control of your life experience you've got to have control of your thoughts and before you can have control of your thoughts you've got to know what emotions are about you've got to deliberately trend you say so take it easy we got pretty strong and it's actually your fault because you dragged us to a place we weren't quite ready to go be easy about it be easy about it so we have some multiple choice questions for you are you enjoying this voyage mostly do you find it more enjoyable than most normal days what's up with that <laughs> so why do you think that is did you think quite a bit about this been thinking about it for quite a long time did you have some ups and downs about it did you manage the ups and downs and come to feeling pretty good about it can you feel that you focused this good time into being for you 
Does it feel to you that it's just being presented to you? Or do you feel like part of the collective consciousness that has brought this about in this way? And if you can do this under these conditions, you can do this to each and every day. What we're saying to you is every day should feel this good. Every day should be filled with new experiences that you have not experienced before with really good insights because that's what's lined up for you in your vortex. It's nice when something unfolds in a powerful way like this. We're not trying to talk you out of basking in extra awareness of something that's extra delicious, but your peaks should not be so far apart. They should happen in the middle of every conversation. There should be insights that give you shivers that come from everyone that you engage with. That feeling of being proud of yourself or proud of others. There's potential for that all day long. Don't hang out in reservoirs of depletion and then revel when there's less depletion. Demand or expect or conjure or intend more for yourself. In the days that are following, we're eager to talk with you about whatever you want to talk about. We are not trying to talk you out of any conversation. In fact, the more nitty gritty of your life you are willing to talk about, the more clarity will come in all of this. But what we are saying to you, and we think that right now you're on this precipice where you can hear it more clearly maybe than at any other time in your life. You're better at deliberate creation than you know. And you're willing to let yourself feel more negative emotions than your inner being would ever even consider. When you get your feelings hurt, that's just dumb. Don't get your feelings hurt. Don't let somebody hurt your feelings. Let your feelings be unhurtable. Be so clear about who you are that what anybody else thinks or what everybody else thinks does not hurt your feelings. Don't ask anybody to be a way that they may or may not be ready to be. That's what true freedom is. Freedom for what? Freedom to connect with your inner being. Freedom to feel good. Freedom to attract consciously. Freedom to be aware of the possible pleasure points in every conversation or every moment in time. Each thing you look at or each thing you listen for or each thing you feel for, each thing that any of your physical senses helps you define is ripe and rich and laden with textures and levels of pleasure points for you of satisfaction points for you and dear hearts you've trained yourself it's like you've got super glue on your fingers so you really don't feel and a coating on your tongue so you really don't taste there's so much more that your inner being knows you are capable of so don't be afraid to mix it up and don't be afraid to have some negative emotion and don't be afraid to say what you mean and don't be so determined that you're going to be a positive creator. You know, you create your own reality. Don't be so sure that you're going to do that and do it just right, that you've got happy face stickers stuck all over everything and you stop using your guidance system in a way that you don't really know where you're trending. Helpful. Well, we have enjoyed this interaction immensely. Not just what we just spewed to you, but what you just drew from us, what you are asking for. So we know we got a little intense, but friends, we are following you. You so want to know how to be a deliberate creator. So I wanna leave you with a word that will help that. Replace the word deliberate creator with the one who has the most fun. There is great love here for you. And for now, we are complete. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next